Hello everybody, this is Blade Cross EXE, and welcome back to Fate Grand Order. It's time for the Christmas 2018 event. The Little Santa Altar. Whatever happened to Jean? First night. Ah, we gotta take a guest room with us. It's probably gonna be Jolter Lily herself. I've already got my Christmas party set up. Uh, but I don't have any Christmas craft essences yet, so we're just gonna go kaleidoscopes. The waves crashed and roared. The violent winds howled. It may not have been alive, but for all its ferocity, it may as well have been. Somehow, it was as frightening as the beginning of the world, but as beautiful as the end of all things. A gift that, supposedly, was never meant to be, before being opened right before my eyes. In the end, it was probably a failure. I was probably a failure as a Santa. That's why I'm sure these tears are tears of frustration. There was a hole in my heart, and what filled it was. Oh, it's beautiful. Whatever happened to Jean? It's a beautiful background. Senpai, are you ready to go? The reindeer outfit really suits you. <laughs> uh, is that a compliment, Mash? Yes, of course. I have sort of a care package for you from all the servants. We expect you to be out for a while, so please take it with you. First, this is a portable heater. You'll be flying at over 75,000 meters. I'm sorry, uh, 7,500 meters. So, uh, this will make sure you don't get cold. It's made with Medea's Magecraft, so it'll definitely keep you warm. How helpful! And this is a lunch from Emia. If you pull the string, it will automatically warm up. He developed it together with Edison, or so he said. Oh, uh, the one flaw is that it emits a strong smell of dumplings, so be careful when you eat it. Rocket dumplings. And this is from Murray. It's a little early for Christmas, but this is warm spiced wine, she says. I'll put it in an insulated case, so drink it when you find yourself getting cold. This is also thoughtful. And lastly, Senpai, this is from Santa Altar and me. It's a talisman we made together, and it's meant to give many effects, such as safe traveling. At least, I hope it does. Oh, I have a message from Santa Altar. You better not make her cry, she says. <laughs> I guess Santa Altar is kind of worried. This year's Christmas is going to be a little bit crazy. But I'm sure you'll make it work. You need to undergo emergency maintenance. So, oh, I need to undergo emergency maintenance, so I'm staying here with the doctor. But I'll be monitoring you carefully. So, um, if you would contact me, too, the, that'll make me happy. Roger that. Right. Goodbye, Master. Be careful. Alright, it's time for the Reindeer Master to head out. Let's go. It's pretty cold outside, but we'll be fine. Because I, John Dark Alter, am Santa. It's extremely logical. I mean, uh, it's extremely logistical. I mean, logical. Okay, what the actual hell? Um, let me start from the beginning. Time for you to learn a lesson. Oh, Sean, why are you summoning me at this late hour? If you wish to do a ritual of dark magecraft, can't it wait till morning? No, 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 definitely not. I don't care about those weird rituals. I don't even think they work. You know, it's almost time, right? Time for what? All the younger servants are starting to get excited. I mean, so are the adults. Why are they all getting excited for? Can you even call that candy-loving book a legendary hero who left a mark on history? Ah, those so-called real servants are satisfied with merely existing, and not all interested in bettering themselves. According to Master, someone once said that anyone without a desire to improve is an idiot. I don't know who it was, but it's a great saying worthy of, Jean of a John Larter Gold Star. Ha ha ha, you're getting off track, John. So, will you tell me what it's time for? <clears throat> Basically, it's almost Christmas. Doesn't it piss you off that they seem in high spirits? No, not at all. On the contrary, when I see children get excited, it makes me want to smile and then proceed to murder them. Though for reasons I can't quite understand, my smile seems to frighten children. I see what a stupid question that was. Also, those kids are right to run away. Anyways, listen. 
When Christmas comes, she starts getting excited. Who is she? Don't you know? That awful dark Santa with a skin color of a corpse. Last time, I was just walking through the halls when I almost got blown away. <laughs> you aren't looking where you're going, Fallen Saint. Can't you tell that I'm in the middle of turning my Lumberry Mark II? Or tuning my Lumberry Mark II. Of course you can. It's almost Christmas. It's almost time for Christmas fun. My sword shall save the world once more. She said it twice. She just wouldn't shut up. And then she went into the combat simulator and started humming jingle bells while blasting off her noble phantasms for hours before finally going home. Is she always stalking Santa? <laughs> Can't you see? She's too she's too married to be a proper Santa. So I'm going to steal, <clears throat> um, borrow Santa Alter's sack. What? The sack she uses to carry presents? That's right. And then I'm going to hand them out before she can. The children will cry. Santa Alter will cry. It may be the best Christmas ever. Do you see now the genius of my plan? But my Jean. If I may point out, even if this is the middle of the night, she's still a servant. And we do not even have a presence concealment. Won't it be quite difficult to steal from her? <laughs> you underestimate me, Jill. Don't worry. The cute little kitty king of heroes gave me a potion that makes you invisible. Ooh, so is that what the pitch black potion you've been holding? Yep, I'll turn invisible, steal her sack, and then spread, spend the whole night delivering presents. It's foolproof. And tomorrow, when the children are happily opening their presents, I will feast on the sweet salt of Santa Alter's tears. Serves you right! What a beautiful, perfect plan! So you ha all you have to do is drink the potion, my Jean. Yep, that's all the have to do is drink the potion, Jill. That's all. How strange. I'm suddenly a little nervous for some reason. It should be safe, right? I was careful not to ask the scary evil Gogamesh and chose the dumb kid as a precaution. Yes, I have no reason... Uh, to be confident about that, but I am willing to bet your life on it. Jill, feel free to not say everything that comes to mind. But that's fine. If I, if I stopped to worry about consequences, I wouldn't be a servant. I am the Witch of Vengeance. Even if I have to be, even if I've been tricked into taking poison, I'll still laugh and gulp it down. All the potion, all of it. Well, bottoms up. Mm -hmm. Ugh, this tastes awful. They say good medicine is bitter, Jean. Right, right. So, am I turning invisible? No, not really. Yeah, I knew he tricked me. Well, then I'll just go steal the real thing from... <coughs> What's wrong, John? My, my body's on fire! Yeah. Oh, no. Not again! John! 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 Hey, you're being real loud, Mr. Shield Ray. Huh? Hmm. <laughs> Try turning invisible and stir up tr trouble. These gro the grown-up me is awful, isn't she? Eh? Eh? But I respect her desire to want to be Santa. I shall carry on her will. W wait Are you? I am Jean Alter Lily. I was born to become the next Santa. Oh, Jean. Jean, you have turned into a child too adorable by far. Oh my, my, my. I'm so excited I seem to have ascended. Perlali will be delighted. Anyway, the grown-up me is a dummy to think I could steal by turning invisible. Oh, so you have a plan, sweet young Jean? A plan? Mr. Shield, are you stupid? I don't need a plan. I'm just going to convince Miss Al Arturia Santa that I'm a better Santa. Oh, even in youth, young, my Jean was very reckless. Nothing good will come of this, but she may at least learn a life lesson. Off I go. Oh, you stay here, Mr. Gilles DeRay. You sneaking into a woman's room at night is bad, bad, bad. What do you mean you want to be Santa? Christmas Sword of Promise Calabar! Huh? Did that voice sound younger or something? Meh, whatever. Bedtime. Now let's just sleep for Christmas. Oh, Jean! She's the sort who may bite you if you do get too close. Oh, she may bite whether you're close or not. But perhaps the reason you failed was that you approached unguarded. Oh, how sad. Oh, poor thing. Why didn't you tell me before? She was scary. She was really, really scary. Nah, uh, I'm not crying. 
Bulging eyed Jeel, uh, what is the meaning of your intrusion at this hour? The servants are one thing, but Master and the staff are sleeping. If you want to make noise, then do it when everyone is awake. Probably grown up me. The regular adult me. I see. So that explains why adult me is panicking and stuff. But this year, Sam's job will be mine. Jeel? W what is it, Jean? Is just my imagination, or is your smile a little more strained than usual? How could it not be strained? Now tell me what's going on! If you don't tell me everything, I'll poke those googly eyes right out! And that's what happened. I see, so they multiplied again. Hey, Master, what's that attitude for? That's right, Master. Multiplying like bunnies is Arturius thing. <laughs> That's funny. Me multiplying is an exception to all exceptions. I'm sorry, may I ask your name and class once more? Of course, I am... Jean d'Arc Alter Santa Lily Lancer. One more time, faster. Faster? Oh, Alright. Jean d'Arc Santa Alter Lily Lancer. Sa uh, Santa, uh, I mean, oh wait, uh... Santa Jean d'Alter Dark. Go Lily, no, um, Shanta, Janta, Lily, and Sir, uh, uh, well, Master, please don't tease me too much. Tease me? Master, uh, what are you, a kid? I think I see what's going on. Jean Alter has become Lily, and this the cause is young Gilgamesh's potion, am I correct? I'm really sorry. Uh, you're forgiven, Gil. Thanks. Well, if I were to make an excuse, it'd be because I, I was woken up at night and grabbed the wrong thing. Maybe I shouldn't have opened the door to my treasury vault while I was still lying on the floor. That was very careless of you, Gil. <laughs> I never thought that I'd see the day that John Alter had a good reason to yell at me. Adult me is good for nothing. I... she's not that bad. Deep down, she has the potential to become a proud servant. The way the other me spoils me... The way the other me spoils me is the reason why I think things are... Why I think of things of, like, trying to steal sacks. I see. So this is what the weirdo looked like before she grew up. Miss calls herself a holy maiden. Master, come with me. I need to talk to you. I never called myself anything like that. Mash, you play with her for a while. I'm too old to play. More importantly, Miss Arturia Santa, give me Santa's sack. Just play or you'll get Naughty Girl Caliber. What? <laughs> I, I don't think Santa should be threatening people. Should I call you John Alter Santa Lily? Or maybe just something shorter, a nickname? John Alter's fine, or Santa John. Then for now, I'll call you John Alter. What, uh, why do you want to be Santa Claus? Because I'd like to be the best Santa ever, duh. I can do a much better job of delivering the proper ideal presence for everyone. The proper presence. I do remember Emya's unreadable expression upon receiving black keys last year. What's an archer gonna do with black keys anyway? That's why she's bad. Bad, bad, bad. Good point. I know most of what happened last Christmas from grown-up me's memories. I know I can give better presents and that everyone will love them. Listen, listen to you. Welcome back, Master. Is something wrong? I'm back. Well, what is it, Miss Arturia Santa? Is it another caliber? What caliber again? D -d 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 Do it, if you dare. You're not fooling anybody. Talking tough while hiding behind Master. But we talked, and I've decided that you can be Santa this year. Take this. This is Santa's secret sack. Huh? I I it's okay? Really? Well, if you don't want to, then I'll just be Santa again. No, 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 I'll do it, I'll do it. Reindeer, this year will be different than last. You can take the lead. What you do is no different from last year. You gather the stockings and the crystallization of children's hearts. Babysitting will be an extra task, but you can do it. What? Th th that sounds like I'm just some useless kid. Take that back, I demand a reduction. Let's try to do our best, Santa Claus. Do our best? There's no need to work that hard. <laughs> Why, you ask? Because my plan is perfect. I have a bad feeling about this, but hang in there, reindeer. Gabriel is the only one who can control her. C 
Consider this a request from me as well, Master. Please, make Lily into a great Santa. I'm on it. Thank you. I know this should be obvious, but Ultra Lily is also a different being than myself. So please treat her as a full-fledged servant. Alright, I'll start by testing your power. Santa, Santa Jr., Gabriel, we'll start by, we'll start with Santa warm-ups. Santa needs an iron will, an icy heart, and the fury of a demon. Fight without fear. To the combat simulator, right? Don't worry, I'll show you my powers as a Santa servant. Very well. I will be your opponent, Santa Jr. Uh, already? Um, wait, I'm, I'm not ready. <laughs> There's no use for arguing. I shall test you to see if you're really worthy of Santa and my reindeer. Well, that's how Jalter Lily, or as some people on the Grand Order Wiki call her, Jalter, came to be. Wow. Okay, I, I'm pretty sure the thing was... Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. I think Gilgamesh actually found the Fountain of Youth, and the potion that he gave Jalter was water from the Fountain of Youth, and that turned her into Jalter Lily. Like, that's what I'm interpreting from this. That or it was just Gil just, you know, getting up to shenanigans again, because even though Kid Gil is adorable and polite, he's still a little bit of a prankster. Hmm. Holy Night Wolf. I want to see what uh, Jolter Lily's noble phantasm is. Okay, like the way she fights so far. Attacking with, attacking with blue fire instead of red fire. I get it. What up, Santa? Let's see here. Oh yeah, I forgot I still have the Mape Association equipped on this one. Alright, sweet. Time for a triple noble phantasm. Here we go. All busters. La Grace Fille Noel. Pretty sure I pronounced that wrong, but let's do that. La Grande Limit Duhane, and then Unlimited Blade Wars. Alright. Okay. It's raining Christmas! Jolta Lily made it rain. <laughs> I kill you with Christmas, and then I heal my team with Christmas. As much as I love Santa Alter, and she's like one of my like top five favorite versions of regular Saber, I think Jalter Lily's got a better Noble Phantasm for Christmas. All right, sweet master mission complete. Oh, we dropped. Was that cheesecake? Yeah, cheesecake. Fluffy, smooth tasting cake. Ooh. I love some of that. 40 stockings. Sweet. So yeah, there we go.
You passed. Barely. But I suppose I must give you my secret sack. Now, reindeer, work hard so you don't tarnish the Santa name. That was scary. That was real scary. Are you okay? It looked like you were maybe crying a little, John Alter. No, I wasn't crying. There's no crying in Santa Claus. It's a class that delivers smiles. Anyways, old Santa gave me her blessing. Now, let's go deliver presents. Huh? It's still early? What are you saying, reindeer? <laughs> you know you know the song goes. Santa baby, hurry down. Uh, very well, but we have to prepare, so uh, hold on a little bit. It, it may not be winter yet, but it's still late fall. There might be already falling snow in some places. We should at least get some winter equipment ready. Anyway, that's enough reminiscing. It's time to get going, reindeer. There are servants waiting for us to give them their presents. <laughs> Whole thing was a flashback sequence. All right, Jalter Lily. Is it temporary or is it permanent? <laughs> oh yeah, she's a limited time servant. Okay. Alright. Even if she's limited time, I am going to level her up because I actually do want to use her. Alright, so the next one hasn't started yet. So we'll be back when that one picks up. But yeah, that's how... That's how... Jolta Lily came to be, and that is magnificent. Like, I love that little exchange that just happened. It was really nice. It was awesome. And look forward to using her. Oh, check out the, uh... <laughs> Jill the Ray doll. <laughs> what is that? Oh, it's her ascension material. <laughs> A cute but creepy doll gain from the little Santa altar. Okay, well, let's, uh... Let's go ahead and do the roll. Okay. Always next time, right? Next time. Spin again. Okay. How is it? There are no losers. I guarantee it. Oh, so we get the prizes from here. Okay. All right, sweet. Okay, so yeah. It's going to be a lot like the Christmas rerun that we just played. So we're going to continue this on as we get the stockings we need. And we're going to pick the story back up once we... Well, once we have more story to play. Thank you all so much for watching. This has been Blade Cross EXE, part of Flash and Blades Productions, and tune in next time when we continue this Christmas event. Peace out. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock.